A bit of background about the AFB Queen's Alliance. Um, back before 2006, AFB and Queen's had actually a very good relationship with regards to um, the way you, our teaching role with Queen's. Now, unfortunately, whenever AFB was formed, that, that was dissolved. But we recognise the strength of the two parts coming together for both a research perspective as well as an education perspective and bringing forward the future leaders. So at this moment in time, you know, we recognise in AFB that there's some really quality fundamental research underway in Queen's, especially aligned with the Institute of Global Food Security, um, aligned with climate change, the One Health Agenda, etc. And in AFB, we then are on the applied side of the house from a research perspective. So joining up the fundamental components of that research with the applied creates really strong pipelines of research and solutions to come through from the academic arena right out into the industry. So we're very excited um, that this is an opportunity that we're currently embracing. Um, the AFB Queen's Alliance is based in Northern Ireland and with our headquarters within AFB uh, being Belfast and of course Queen's being headquartered in Belfast as well. But of course, within AFB, we have sites at AFB Hillsborough, our main research farm, as well as Stormont, our veterinary sciences. So whilst the core is based in Belfast, um, we do have sites um, across Northern Ireland. So just to give you an overview of who all is involved in the Alliance, um, I'm a director in AFB and Nigel is a director of the Institute of Global Food Security. So we, between us, are what's called the co-sponsors of the Alliance. And then within that as well, we have a body of approximately 20 to 30 scientists at the minute working across our science clusters, um, which really involve sustainable livestock farming, environmental resilience, data, and food quality and safety. So amongst those four clusters that we've currently identified, there's about 20 to 30 scientists currently building those pipelines of science from fundamental through to the applied agenda. So it's important for all of these people to be working together because we need to focus as a scientific community on the holistic delivery of solutions because the problem of climate change isn't only about phosphorus or isn't only about nitrogen or, or only about carbon. We have to deliver on both high welfare standards for livestock whilst protecting the environment from, from phosphorus, nitrogen and carbon and increase the biodiversity in our environment as we're doing all that. At the same time, we need to protect animal health human health and plant health. So it's really important that this portfolio and, and very multidisciplinary team comes together as one to actually solve those grand challenges that are within climate change and One Health because it is a multifactorial problem. The benefits of the Alliance in terms of sharing resources and facilities means that there's no duplication, first of all. So the beauty of the Alliance is that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So we have been able to maximise the impact from our resources by actually coming together and making sure that they're complementary and uh, we have a critical capacity as well within the key areas of science that we want to work on. So the main aim of the Alliance is to join up that fundamental science agenda with the applied agenda. So to really bring solutions for industry and society through to realisation and make sure they impact. So the main benefits to society and industry are having a one-stop shop, if you like, for people to be able to interact with and develop solutions from fundamental ideas right out through to their application in the, in the wider population. The unique selling points of our alliance is that we do look at that holistic picture. So we do have disciplines across the health agenda, across the productivity agenda, the environmental protection agenda and data science. We are multidisciplinary with regards to the, the, the breadth and also the depth of that, as I say, spanning right from fundamental sciences at, at early stage lab level right out through to the field scale um, disciplines. And we have access to students and, and we can bring those into the research agenda and develop the leaders of the next generation. So one of the key success stories of the Alliance thus far, um, I would probably link to our work on emissions and the reduction of emissions from livestock. Through colleagues such as Sharon Hughes in Queen's University and Stephen Morrison in Shanghai Yan here at uh, AFB Hillsborough, 
we have really created a, a really strong community of scientists and PhD students and projects which are looking at a range of dietary additives and understanding the, the effect of the rumen and the rumen microbiome on methanogenesis and how to ultimately reduce methane emissions from the rumen. And as I say, the work that Sharon can conduct down in Queen's is, is really getting into depth into what that microbiome looks like. And then we at AFI can bring that right through to the animal model and on out to the field on a, on a herd and uh, farm basis.